nice to have breakfast outside. It's really warm. I don't need a jumper or a jacket. Oh, it's amazing. It's like suddenly the season has turned. Yes, it was quite cold yesterday because when, when the wind picks up, it actually is quite cold. But when it's a quiet morning like this, oh, it's really great. It feels like summer's just around the corner. So we woke up to a, quite a nice little breeze around 10 to 12 knots. So we thought we wouldn't be able to leave until lunchtime, but it seems like we could probably leave any time and then just um, use the cruising chute. Our favourite sail. <laughs> yeah, the Bay of Cagliari is always a bit different anyway. You get a lot of um, land sea breeze in there. So you never know quite what to expect. But um, yeah, I think with this cruising chute, hopefully if the wind picks up too much, we'll just douse it quickly with the sock. But it should be a really nice day of sailing. There's hardly any um, sea at all. There's hardly any um, swell or waves. So it should be lovely. It's a warm day, I love it. <laughs> Is it up? Yeah. So Ryan is still getting the anchor on board. It's off the floor, but it's not up. So I'm not gonna make much of a move just in case we don't want the anchor to damage our bow or the bowsprit or the bobstay. Now we're, ble we're being blown to starboard by the wind. I need to be very careful because it's quite shallow around here. It goes from eight meters to two meters in no time. And there's some um, uncharted rocks so, yeah, it's going to have to be steering the boat at a very low speed and keep a close eye on the depth. All right. Nice. She's up. So we're going to get the main up all the way motor out? Yeah. We're going to stay at the helm because there's too many rocks about. Yeah, just keep an eye for the fishing yeah. boys as well. Yeah, there's lots of um, crab pots and sometimes they're as small as a, um, I don't know, kinder egg? <laughs> no, it's like, like a coke bottle. Yeah, coke smart, bottle. Yeah. Yeah, they're not proper things. Cool. Cool. So it looks like there's a bit 
too much wind already for the cruising shoot and from the forecast we know that the wind will increase so we figured we better be conservative that's how we like it and um, we just put the Yankee and main up might be able to get the staysail out as well and yeah it looks like a very lovely calm morning Got about 12 knots of wind and we're doing five knots. Not too bad. So when we came out of our little bay there were two sailboats um, behind us and we've managed to be keeping up with this lagoon. We haven't really been trying to do anything in particular. But... Do you think 45? Are you 45? Or... Yeah I don't know. About big 45 one. feet, yeah, big lagoon catamaran. And it's just really nice that now, like, boats just don't shoot past us while we're <laughs> like sat doing three knots on Kitty Wake. <laughs> now we've got like a slightly faster boat, they just shoot past us at a slightly slower speed. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we were doing like 0.3 knots less than them most of the time, anyway. Yeah, yeah, I looked at them on AIS to keep an eye on them. And yeah, most of the time they were only going a tiny bit faster than we were, even though he's using his uh, nylon sails. But once we turn the corner, we might put the cruising chute up and then we might just like leave him in the dust. <laughs> well, we're definitely happy we didn't put the cruising chute up now. <laughs> we're doing nearly seven knots in 22 knots of wind. I think the you know, almost in existence swell is really helping with the speed. Um, it's a really lovely sail, it's great. And it's great to be doing um, high speed without worrying that the boat might break. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Elena just reefed the main. We've lost a load of weather helm, but hardly any speed. We're still doing nearly seven knots, but you can see from the rudder indicator from the top, it's not always like way hard over trying to keep the boat on course. So, good job. The wind just completely died and we put the engine on. But it was only on for about five minutes before it looks like the wind's picked back up again. We've got another 12 knots, which is about what we've been having um, for the last couple of hours. So it wasn't off for very long, just enough time to make a snap. And now I'm gonna get the Yankee back out again. So we've got a big ship 
dead ahead of us and a really fancy huge 90 foot sailboat overtaking us at the same time. So Ryan is down below looking at the AIS and I'm up here keeping a, an eye on the boats and uh, taking control of the um, autopilot. I just did 10 degrees to starboard to hopefully avoid the ship and hopefully not get on course with the sailboat. <laughs> but I'll, Ryan, do you want to show them the AIS? So hopefully you can see what's going on in the AIS here. We've um, gone behind this big ship because it was putting him in a very awkward position. You can't see it now, but there's a, a sailboat just here, which keeps disappearing off AIS, I'm not sure why. But we were putting him in a bit of a tricky position by maintaining it, by maintaining our course, especially with, well, basically because of the other boat which was coming up behind us, there was no way he could come in front of us. So he altered a bit to starboard, but just to make sure that there was extra space we altered a bit more to starboard as well because even though like we're going to clear him we don't really want to get too close to the big wakes of these like huge ships because they send you flying around so it's not dangerous but half a mile is fine so we'll just keep an eye on it and make sure we're plenty far away enough shifting both in terms of direction and speed and because we're going between a reef and island and a headland we figured we'd just drop the sails and motor in um, it's a bit, a bit too risky and the waves are actually still biggish so we are being thrown all over the place and it wasn't a pleasurable experience anyway but yeah we should be in before like just on time for dinner which is really nice Fennel, cabbage, mozzarella, mash, and fizzy red wine, which is a new one for me. <laughs> I'm not really sure about it. But. Oh. <laughs> we don't normally drink much wine, but today was a little bit special because we basically got as far east as we've ever been. We never went, we never went further than this in Kitty Wake. So when we eventually, touch wood, hopefully set off from here and head eastwards, we'll be pressing on into new ground it's quite exciting mm -hmm. uh, uh, remind them why we're stuck here actually oh we're stuck here because um, our hard drive broke which was almost a very big disaster because it had loads of unbacked up footage on it luckily I managed to get most of it off and some of it was backed up so I managed to get hopefully all the footage that we need to make the videos of us setting off on this boat if we'd have lost that it would have been pain but and the bilge pumps yeah we were, so we're waiting for that in an amazon locker to arrive into villa Simius, and as well the bilge pumps because our bilge pump broke so yeah we're waiting for a couple of hundred quids worth of stuff to arrive in the post and then hopefully we'll be setting off eastwards. The weather's looking good at the moment. It's pretty settled. There's a bit of a mistral on Sunday, but it's not really a proper one. It's like a one day thing. Thanks for watching. As always, give us a thumbs up or leave us a comment if you enjoyed the video and consider supporting our videos through Patreon. Join us next week as we face the fiercest mistral we've ever seen at Anchor.